getting high with a friend and I, we, were, we were both intravenous drug, un- drug users and you know as soon as I did a shot I was like I looked at my friend and I said who I'm glad I didn't do all of it because I was testing it for someone else I didn't even do a usable amount to get high on I did a tenth of that to test it and it turned out it had fentanyl in it and it killed me immediately and Narcan saved my life and it's not just that it saved my life it's the fact that literally in the week following that I administered Narcan 12 times in 16 hours it was a crazy situation I was um, I was doing security for a bunch of escorts they were all using and um, a bunch of heroin came from New Jersey down to North Carolina that was laced with fentanyl and it and it it took out 16 people I knew in less than 24 hours and 12 of them I brought back with Narcan it was crazy it got to the point where I had to keep go getting I had to keep going back and asking for Narcan and people were like what are you really doing with this like are you really using it that often you know and the police and EMTs were showing up at overdose scenes and they were like you know what the heck because I was always there doing CPR and administering Narcan and I've used it a bunch and what it comes down to you know you look at it and it's like okay like yes it saves lives like that's not disputable like I've I'm sorry I've seen it I've administered it at least a dozen times and that's just in that period so probably like closer to 20 altogether but so yeah I've seen it and I've never seen it not work but at the same time like for the for the naysayers you know like oh you're saving some junkies life so they can keep fucking stealing from people so they can get high okay but then you look at the cases like Kayla I was one of the biggest junkies in North the, Carolina the biggest junkie in North Carolina strung out on the streets since she was 12 years old and now she's clean and living out oh you know we were living in Vail, Colorado like working she was working in a five-star restaurant living a great life two years clean and she wouldn't have that opportunity had her life not been saved by an arcade 